end, I close to half of the receiver was standing on your sideline with nobody near him. Was that something? Kind of what went on there? Why was there a timeout call? Or what? That, it was, there should have been, and uh, I should have called it. And uh, quite honestly, we were looking at the unbalanced formation. I was looking at the set, and uh, I was fixed on the our our fits because we were, we were having some issues, obviously, with that set. And we were looking at exactly the formation in there at the bunch set. And by the time we realized that there was nobody on him, uh, I, you know, I tried to call a timeout. It was too late. I was fractions off and uh, of getting the timeout. So Derek said that he did not see the player out there. Uh, so the one at the end, the, the guy. The one at the end, we we subbed and Jordan came out when when the other corner came out. We were getting to a big goal line set. And uh, both corners came out, and we left them uncovered. And it, it, that's our fault. We we tried to change personnel groups too late. We should have lived with the call that we had, and uh, tried to sub for bigger people. And uh, that can't happen in that situation. Our players can't hear. It's loud, and they, they can't hear. And the communication is is very. Uh, you know, we list you know, as you guys know we, with the cloud noise or the uh, crowd noise with offenses, uh, and I know it's like that at defense. It's the defense at home, and uh, so we we've got to communicate much better, and uh, we've got to do a better job of coaching.